Chao Lucy has started a new work, and it was revealed that she collaborated with Guang Jun and Wang Haran, and the character design is tailor-made. Zhao Lucy has been a hot and popular star in the entertainment industry in recent years. She first successfully became a popular star in ancient costumes with her wonderful performances in the two works the rumored Chan Kaiyakian and Long Suang Zing. Later, with her outstanding performance in the two works The Most Beautiful Thing and Secretly Can't Hide, she became a popular heroine of puppet dramas loved by the audience. However, in the past two years, Zhao Lucy's resources have mainly been in the field of costume dramas. For example, the ancient puppet drama Brilliant Star, the Machiavellian drama Test the World, the fairy tale drama The Hidden God and so on. Recently, Zhao Lucy ushered in the costume inspirational drama Pearl Carton and Jade Carton, which many viewers are looking forward to. In addition to the costume drama Pearl Carton and Jade Carton, Zhao Lucy also has another costume drama, which is The Tyrant's Little Medicine. The play is a costume light comedy with elements of intrigue and house fighting. Zhao Lucy's performance itself is very humorous and is very suitable for starring in a costume light comedy. In addition, the character of the heroine in the play is very consistent with Zhao Lucy's own temperament, and it will definitely bring a pleasant visual enjoyment to the audience. Zhao Lucy has started a new work, and it was reported that she collaborated with Guang Jun and Wang Haran, and the character design was tailor-made. The Tyrant's Little Medicine is an anti-conventional costume light comedy, and it is also an ancient puppet drama with sweet elements. The play mainly tells the story of Xia Ruoyan, a concubine of a minister, who was forced to enter the palace for her younger sister, and accidentally and falsely claimed to be a bodyguard. Prince Xiaojin fell in love with each other, but because he was frail and sick, he could only list a large number of last wishes for the male protagonist to fulfill. In the play, the heroine Xia Ruoyan is a frail and lowly concubine. She has not been valued by her father since she was a child, but she has a face that will make people admire her. Fortunately, the heroine is smart enough and can act coquettishly, so she can always make the hero fall at critical moments. Such a quirky hero in design is exactly what Zhao Lucy is good at. I believe that Zhao Lucy's appearance and acting skills will definitely give the heroine in the play an interesting soul and bring a relaxed and pleasant comedy atmosphere to the audience. As for the male protagonist of the play, he has two identities, one is the image of a loyal, venomous and arrogant guard, cold on the outside and hot on the inside, and the other is the image of the prince who is notorious, ruthless and scheming. Such an interesting male protagonist will definitely make the tyrant's little cure more interesting. As for the choice of the male protagonist of the drama, the drama team has already begun to contact Wang Jun. Guang Jun is recognized by people in the industry as a handsome man in ancient costume, and he is also a talented young man who is loved by the audience. He relies on his outstanding costume appearance and superb acting performance in The Perilous Daughter, The Order of Mountains and Rivers in the story of An Li, comma which is unforgettable for many viewers. This time, Guang Jun joins the tyrant's little medicine as a surprise, which will definitely bring the audience a unique character experience. Coupled with Guang Jun's acting skills, he will definitely bring the contrasting cuteness of the male protagonist in the play to life. At the same time, the new CP combination of Guang Jun and Zhao Lucy will also firmly capture the audience's attention. I believe that with the acting skills of Guang Jun and Zhao Lucy, they will definitely provide many highlight moments for the tyrant's little medicine. In terms of cast, in addition to the two popular actors Guang Jun and Zhao Lucy, the show also invited the treasured actor Wang Heron. Although Wang Heron is slightly less popular, her ability to shape characters is very strong, and she is called an actress in dramas by the audience. From the generous and decent Shang Hulan in Do You Know Should It Be Green, Fat, Red and Thin, to the ruthless Jiao Likiao in Lotus House, to the innocent and lovely Tian Tian in Sweet Yu, she uses her outstanding the performance successfully made the audience remember each character. This time, Wang Heron unexpectedly joined the tyrant's little medicine as a villain, which will definitely provide many interesting highlights for the show. The tyrant's little medicine has a sweet and interesting plot and a strong starring cast. It is very likely to become a popular costume movie next year. Let's wait and see. Zhao Lucy's new drama starts airing like hell. It was the first time I saw TV series, and the director's account was cancelled before it was even filmed. Recently, there is a costume drama Pearl Carton and Jade Carton that is about to be broadcast. However, this drama caused a lot of controversy and confusion before it was broadcast, which is very confusing. I have to doubt its quality and reputation. The heroine of this drama is Zhao Lucy, and the male protagonist is Leah Yuning. Doesn't it sound interesting? Unfortunately, fans of the two leading actors did not buy it, and some even launched a boycott of the series. 
What is going on? It is reported that stylist Hayunai, who is good at dressing up women, was originally responsible for the makeup in Jade Carton, but she was replaced by stylist Han Guangren before filming started. This raises questions about the quality of the show. Stylist Hao Yunai has previously served as the styling designer for dramas such as The World in Shangun, Glory of the Tang Dynasty, and Nine Righteous People. The styling in the drama is indeed good. When Chang Feng Du was aired before, the look designed by Han Guangren was unanimously complained by the audience. The stylist is famous for his men's clothing but has repeatedly been involved in Japanese style controversies. This time, he was replaced before the shoot, and there was news that he was being replaced by Capital. Moreover, the director of this drama is also ZZ, who is ridiculed by netizens for being out of the entertainment industry. His past single directed works have the highest double score of only 6.3 points, and Jun Jiling, which once made Jin Han Chao out of the entertainment industry, is his masterpiece. Full stop. He has little confidence in camera movement, color tone, costumes, etc., which makes people worried about whether he can make a good costume drama. This drama was originally adapted from a novel of the same name. The heroine in the novel is a talented woman who was trained as a jewelry designer and businessman since she was a child. After three relationships, she eventually became a jewelry queen. The story of such a professional heroine is inherently attractive, and there are many wonderful plots and details in the novel. However, Pearl Carton made a lot of magical changes to the original work, merging the three male protagonists with different personalities and identities into one person, which is the male protagonist played by Leah Yuning. In this way, it not only destroys the 1v3 heroine setting in the original work, but also makes the plot monotonous and boring. Moreover, the production time of Pearl Carton has been delayed again and again, which has exhausted the expectations of Zhao Lucy's fans, and allowed all kinds of news to spread, causing Zhao Lucy to be scolded repeatedly. The heroine from the earliest rumors is Zhao Lucy. She is one of the hottest little flowers at the moment. She has sweet features, fresh and sweet, and her acting skills are constantly improving. Last year's The Star and Let's Try the World both became hits of the season. Her costume styling, ability to grasp details, and emotional drama have won the recognition of the audience, and she is a talented actress with good looks. However, this drama has never officially announced that Zhao Lucy will star as the heroine. Instead, there have been rumors about who the male protagonist is, and the complete cast team has not been completed. This approach not only caused Zhao Lucy to suffer more than a year of slander and abuse, but also made her fans feel deceived and disrespected. Moreover, this drama also delayed Zhao Lucy's time and caused her to miss many other good projects. Therefore, Zhao Lucy's fan groups and official websites used black avatars to express their protest, demanding a reasonable explanation and apology from the show. Li Yuning, the male protagonist of Pearl Carton and Jade Carton, is an artist who started out as a singer. He has a handsome appearance and a certain level of acting skills. He has performed well in The Legend of Annalyn who is the hero, especially in action scenes. He played the male lead in Jade Carton, and he can still match Zhao Lucy in terms of strength. He and Zhao Lucy have played opposite each other in Long Song Zing, and they have a good tacit understanding and sense of CP. If they can work together again, both emotionally and competitively, it will add a lot to the show. However, Li Yuning was disgusted and boycotted by Zhao Lucy's fans because the popular CP may not necessarily achieve the same effect as before in the second match, and it may also damage the favorability of the original Heioi and CP. At the same time, because of the troubles that Pearl Carton and Zhao Lucy had caused before, fans believed that Zhao Lucy would not use positive feedback in this appearance. To sum up, Jade Carton has caused huge controversy and confusion before it was broadcast. Zhao Lucy's fan circle was in turmoil, and the crew's decision-making was also questioned. Whether this drama can be successfully filmed and aired is still unknown, and even if it is filmed and aired, whether it can achieve critical acclaim and ratings is also a matter of suspense. Although Pearl Carton has a good theme and starring actors, it has lost the trust and support of many viewers and fans due to various manipulations by the showrunners. If the showrunners cannot improve and apologize in time, then this show may become a bad show or a bad show. Lee Yuning and Zhao Lucy's second role in Pearl Carton and Jade Carton were revealed, and Chen Li played the second male lead. The fan club stopped updating and was opposed. Recently, Zhao Lucy's fan club announced that it would suspend updates and asked the studio to respond to the casting of the male lead in the new drama Pearl Carton and Jade Carton. Corner Rumors This move caused an uproar, and Zhao Lucy's official Weibo account also changed to a black avatar to show respect and support for fans. But the core of the problem is that fans are dissatisfied with Lian Yuning's joining. The reasons behind this are worth exploring in depth. 
the new drama Jade Carton has attracted much attention, not only because it is an S plus level production, but also because it has an exciting plot. The story tells the legendary experience of a pearl fishing girl, Dragon Boat Festival, who grew up as a jewelry leader in difficult circumstances. It is similar to that year the flowers bloomed and the moon was full starring Sun Lee, both are costume dramas with female protagonists as the theme of women doing business. This subject has become very popular in recent years and is expected to become a dark horse. However, the controversial issue was the casting of the male lead. Lee Yuning was confirmed as the male protagonist. This news caused dissatisfaction among fans, who gave several reasons. First of all, fans believe that Lee Yuning's age gap is large and does not match the image of Zhao Lucy's partner. Zhao Lucy was born in 1998, while Lee Yuning was born in 1990, with an age difference of 8 years. Fans called on the studio to consider working with a new actor around Zhao Lucy's age. Secondly, fans are worried that Lee Yuning may engage in bundling and hype to increase his popularity. He often made some topical remarks in the live broadcast, but Zhao Lucy never mentioned it, but received negative comments for it, which caused great harm to her, such as the previous Hei and CP incident. Third, Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning's collaboration as Hei and CP in the TV series Long Songs and once became popular. However, after the series ended, Liu Yuning gradually withdrew from the public eye, while Zhao Lucy continued to be attacked by the heroine's fans. What is even more irritating is that the original host of AOI and CP was actually a fan of Lian Yuning, but after the series ended, he not only stepped down as the host, but also disbanded the fan group. Finally, some fans worry that dramas with domestic entertainment CPs usually suffer a bad fate. Take The Great Detective of the Republic of China, a collaboration between Zhang Yunlong and Hui Yishen, as an example. Their subsequent collaboration The Great Detective of the Republic of China also failed to achieve success. In the TV series Only 30 co-produced by Mao Zia Tuang and Yang Zhu, the CP of Yu Guo Tian Ken once became popular, but the box office of subsequent movies collaborated by the two actors was not satisfactory. Regarding the fans' reaction, some people express their incomprehension and believe that the artist's choice of partners is their business and fans should not interfere too much. However, some people believe that fans are most concerned about artists, and artists should listen to fan suggestions. Take Yang Yang's refusal to take the role of My World's Fireworks as an example. He did not listen to fan suggestions, which resulted in a decline in reputation. This incident also reflects that in the process of turning classic IP into movies, casting is often the most difficult part. Sometimes, the compatibility between a character and an actor cannot be determined by just a few superficial glances. You need to wait for the episode to be aired before you can truly evaluate it. For example, Zhang Jingai's performance in Light Me to Warm Me was initially questioned as not being suitable for the female lead. However, after the series was aired, she successfully created a popular character. Therefore, fans should probably think more rationally before expressing their opinions, as some things need to be proven by time. While casting matters are important, ultimately the key is how the actors perform on screen. The new drama Jade Carton is highly anticipated, and I hope it can deliver a satisfactory answer in terms of casting and plot. No matter who the male protagonist is in the end, the ultimate success still depends on the efforts of the entire team and the love of the audience. Let us look forward to the launch of this drama together and see if it can become one classic after another. Fox Fairy Matchmaker Official Announcement, Chang Yi 2 and Lee Yanam, which of the three series are you most looking forward to? Fox Fairy Matchmaker itself is a well-known IP and can be called the light of Chinese comics. Although many comic fans do not accept the comic adaptation of the drama, and there have been constant controversies, the Moon Red Chapter and Bamboo Industry Chapter have been filmed so far, and the popularity remains high. Moon Red has two top stars, Yang Mi and Guangzhou 85 Flowers, who as many fans, and a rising star born in the 1990s, have played a very high role in boosting this IP. The supporting cast is also very strong, including Guo Ziading, Zhu Zudin, Chen Yao, Chen Yuling, Bulai Yangxin, An Yuxi, Zhang Ling, Mao Zichen, Wei Zheming, Yang Shai's, Wen Zhang Just pick a supporting role and it can be seen in other idol dramas be the hero and heroine. The cast of Bamboo Industry is also very strong, with Liu Shishi, who is also a 85-year-old, paired with Zhang Yunlong, a young student born in 1985. The supporting cast includes Wu Zhuanai, Zhe Zai Awan, Xin Yu, Ding Yuxi, Zhang Ruanan, Meng Zhui, Zhou Jikyong, etc., and they are still full of beauties. The lineups in both chapters are very strong, and they are all handsome men and beautiful women. They are all top-notch in appearance and makeup. It is not an exaggeration to say that they are the lot of ancient idols. Moonred chapter has not yet aired, and Bamboo Industry chapter is still being filmed. 
Another series of Fox Fury Matchmaker has been officially announced, namely King Power Chapter, starring Hu Chengai and Li Yidong, who were born in the 1990s. Starring. This is also the only male protagonist in the Fox Monster universe. It was rumored in the early stage that he was Chen Fiyu, and finally he became Cheng Yi. The official blog announced it on time at 8 p.m. on October 8, with the text thousands of rivers and mountains, watching with you. It was confirmed that Cheng Yi will play the role of Wang Quan Fuji Yi and Li Yidong will play the role of Qing Tong. Holding the sword and the royal power, I will never regret it. With royal power, wealth and clear eyes, he can see all living beings in the world and travel across thousands of rivers and mountains. At the same time, Cheng Yi forwarded the official blog with the text, The world is not a world of monsters, a world not of humans, but a world of all living beings. Li Yidong himself also posted, I will go to more and more places to show you the outside world. Wang Quan Fuga is the son of Wang Quan Hegemony and Dong Feng Hua is Hu, and is the strongest member of the Wang Quan family. Being trained by his family as a Taoist soldier, he has no freedom in life, so he is full of yearning for the outside world shown by King Tuang, and is labeled as the Iceberg God. King Tuang's true form is a spider spirit, and she was originally a spy arranged by the poisonous lady to go to Wang Quan's house to inquire about information. After getting acquainted with Wang Quan Fuga and regaining his freedom with his help, the two signed a contract for reincarnation and renewal under the Tree of Bitterness. And this drama also stars Chang Yi and Li Yidan. The two collaborated in the martial arts drama Heroes. In the drama, there was a sense of fate but not destiny, and it was difficult to regret missing out. This drama can be regarded as a hit before it is aired. When it was finished, netizens were asserting that this drama would become a hit in the summer next year. Before Heroes was released, Cheng Yi and Li Yidong were paired up to star together in King Power. The two of them were bound to have a better understanding of each other after playing martial arts and fairy tales, and their costumes are very out of the ordinary, making them a perfect match. Cheng Yi has been unstoppable since Li Yidong became a hit and broke out of the industry. In last year's Agarwood Like Chips, one person played three different roles, and the three characters were completely different. The white-haired scumbag dad was even more popular and became one of the representatives of the white-haired male god. This drama is also an ancient puppet drama with great stamina. This year brought another movie Lotus Tower, which rekindled the audience's hope for the long-disappointed martial arts drama, and became popular throughout the summer. After it was finished, many people still watched it again and again and couldn't get out of the pit, and the score rose from 8.0 to 8.3. It has become a popular drama in popular elections. By the way, the upcoming drama Heroes also has a bit more expectations. The heroine Lee Yidong has also been on the rise in recent years. Every year, there are dramas with female protagonists broadcast, covering various themes. There will be two major dramas next year, one is Heroes with Chang Yi. One is the heroine drama Yun Xiuxing. Young Xiuxing is adapted from the Japanese comic Kiyangiro Monogatari. Since its launch, it has been on the hot search many times because of its high quality service. What's more, the drama also brings together Zhang Shengxi, Deng Wei, Wang Yelin, Deng Xiaosi, Thian Gairu, etc. who will be promoted this year. The Handsome Guy is also a costume drama with very high expectations. This lineup of male and female protagonists is not bad compared to Yu Huang Chapter and Bamboo Industry Chapter. Next, let's look at the supporting cast. Now, the male and female protagonists of the three series of Fox Fury Matchmaker have been released. Which chapter are you most looking forward to?